Hi, a car of mass 1600 kilograms moves with a constant power 14 kilowatts as it travels along a straight road. I mean a straight horizontal road. The car takes 25 seconds to travel between two points A and B on the road. Find the work done by the car's engine while the car travels from A to B. Two marks. The resistance to the car's motion is constant and equal to 235 newtons. The car has acceleration at A and B of 0.5 meters per second and 0.25 meters per second per second, respectively. Find, second part, the gain in kinetic energy by the car in moving from A to B and for the third part, the distance AB. Okay, for the first part of this question, we need to find the work done. <clears throat> what we should realize is that uh, power okay, is equal to work done divided by time. We know that the power of the car has been given as 14 kilowatts, which is 14,000 watts. It's equal to the work done divided by the time taken. Time is 25 seconds to travel from A to B. And if you do that, the work done is going to be 14,000 times 25, which comes to 350,000 joules. If you wish, you can say 350 kilojoules. So now that's the first part to the question. Okay, moving on to the uh, second part, that is gaining kinetic energy by the car moving from A to B. Now, first of all, what we should realize is that force is equal to mass times acceleration and we have power is equal to force multiplied by velocity also um, the uh, net force is equal to the driving force minus the resistive force and all of that is basically mass times acceleration now the information we have is that at A the acceleration is equal to 0 0.5 meters per second square and we know that the power is 14,000 watts and that power is equal to force multiplied by velocity. In other words, we're saying that the velocity can come here, we can divide by the velocity. The velocity at A is going to be equal to the force. The force is mass times acceleration and the mass times acceleration is 1600 times 0 0.5. Okay. Now this is the driving force. Okay, with the driving force, we need what we need is a net force. So we need to minus the resistive force. The resistive force has been given in the question as 235. So let us subtract, subtract this away from here. So 14,000 over VA minus 235 is equal to this times, so that's going to be 800. If you do the uh, algebra, you will see that the velocity at A uh, ends as 13.53 meters per second. Let us do the same thing for the velocity at B. What is happening at B? So this was at A, now at B. At B the acceleration was given as 0 0.25 meters per second square. Okay, so again we're going to do the same thing. We know that power is equal to um, force multiplied by velocity and the power is 14,000 and if you divide the velocity here, you're going to get the force. So divide by um, velocity. And the velocity at B is what we're trying to find out. Minus the resistive force. The resistive force is 235 newtons. You're going to get this as the net force. And the net force is force times, the net force goes to mass times acceleration. Mass times acceleration. And what is mass times acceleration? It is 1600 times 0 0.25. If you do all of that, uh, you solve that equation for VB, you're going to end up with VB as, uh, you did on your calculator, 22.05 meters per second. These are very two vital pieces of information that we need to be able to find the um, kinetic energy of a car. So for the kinetic energy, the gain in kinetic energy will be half m into v square minus u square. The end speed, the final speed is greater than the uh, other speed, that is the initial speed. So we're going to take this as first. So half 
times 1600 times uh, 22.05 squared minus 13.53 squared. And if you do it on your calculator again, you will see that um, 0 0.5 times 1600 times in brackets uh, 22.05 square minus 13.53 square. Check this out. out. Yeah. So and that's going to give us um, 242,000. Okay. If let me that's clear. Yeah. 242,513. Okay. So that's 242,500 um, here we go, uh, joules. So we can say that's 242.5 kilojoule. That's the first part of the question to one decimal place. Now for the third part of the question we need to find the distance AB. How are we going to find the distance AB? This first part, second part, and just section this away just not to create any confusion. And we're going to squeeze up the third part here in this space. We're going to do it by um, work power energy. Okay, what is the work done? The work done by the driving force is going to be equal to the gain in kinetic energy. Okay, plus the work done against the resistive force. Work done against the resistive force. It should remember that the kinetic energy gain was uh, 242,500. Now, plus the work done against resistive force. Now, that itself, work done against resistive force, is the resistive force times the distance. And we're looking for the distance AB. And the resistive force again is 235, uh, as was given the question earlier. Here we go. Right, so now um, how do we do this? So we're going to say 235 times the uh, distance AB. And then you're going to equate that to the work done. The work done, uh, we found it to be, uh, what was the work done here? 350 kilojoules. That's 350,000 joules. So we're going to say 350,000 joules. So let's do that. 350,000, okay, minus 242,500, this much. And then we're going to divide by 235. So that comes to 457. There we go, 457. Right, so that's 457.4. Therefore, the distance AB is 457 um, meters to three significant figures. So here we are for this question, which carries um, 10, 12 marks. I hope that's been of a help for you guys. And uh, just uh, put this full view here if you want to stop the video and maybe you want to copy the solution down. You can do that here, like this. Okay, here.